One of the teams that we thought made plenty of sense was the Atlanta Falcons. I said yesterday that if Lamar Jackson had an agent who would have activated the trade me Ravens message last year, yeah. right after the Deshaun Watson trade happened, the Falcons may have been a suitor. The right. Dolphins could have been a suitor. Arthur Blank addressed the interest or lack thereof that the Falcons have in Lamar Jackson yesterday said the owner of the Falcons different player different time this was in relation to Deshaun Watson last year Lamar Jackson this year you have a winner an MVP in the league there's no question he's one of the top quarterbacks in the league looking at it objectively I'd say there's some concern over how long he can play his style of game hopefully a long time but he's missed five six games each of the last two years each game counts a lot in our business that's an articulation of things we've seen and heard reporters say in recent weeks to have an owner of a team come out and say yeah it's a big what big everyone statement. else has been thinking right I mean, that that's clear and that pushes it away from look this is a time when the union is watching very carefully for any sign of collusion last week you and i i think came to a consensus that the collusive effect of the reaction to the deshaun watson deal is just one of many factors in a stew that tells teams yeah. one at a time one after another this isn't our guy and i think that's the case for the falcons yeah. a lot of factors that go into it right and one of the factors is we we just don't want to roll the dice on a guy who may be on the Front end of the back end of his prime, if right. that makes any sense. Yeah. He's not at the back end yet, right. but he's closer. He's closer. He's on the back nine of his prime. He's still got years left, yep. but who knows? And this this injury issue, December 21, December 22, It's if you don't take that seriously now, then shame on you if you give the guy a bunch of money. Those are all real considerations. Those are real concerns. I still think that – that the, the Falcons should want him. I think it's worth the risk. I think he electrifies the team. He fills the stadium. He makes them competitive. He makes them into a contender. But I'm not going to just reject yeah, completely right. the reasoning that Arthur Blank has articulated. No, I think it's a very, you know, and, and, and I like how you're saying it. There's a stew of stuff that are leading to this. It's not just one thing. And it's not just some conspiracy to screw over Lamar Jackson. It's not. Yeah, the guaranteed contract thing, of course, is a huge issue. But but also, yeah, I think everybody's a little bit scared. Lamar's kind of the first of his kind here where we're going, wait, you know, running was the main thing. And, man, he plays an aggressive style of football, and he's taken a lot of hits already. And I do think that, yeah, there's, like, a lot of teams in football are like, no, I'd like to, you know, I like Lamar, but I want somebody else to try that experiment. I, I don't want to try it. I'm not sure. I'm, I, I can't do that. It's a little too risky, right? And I think that's where they are. Wait, we're going to pay a, a groundbreaking contract to a guy who's missed 10 games over the last two years. Uh, it does look like he's not quite as fast as he was two years ago, right? And, you know, we don't know how sustainable this is. And he wants a guaranteed contract. See that that's where it doesn't that doesn't line up and I can totally understand teams being scared of that aspect there. So that's where again that's another part of this whole discombobulation, dysfunction, everything around this whole subject right now. Well, and that's a point that I've had people make to me from time to time, if you bring him in, you potentially have to change your entire offense to suit him like the Ravens have done. Now, you could argue, no, you don't have to. The Ravens chose to do it. You can you can use an offense where Lamar Jackson passes more because he can pass. The right. Ravens are just giving in to this temptation to take advantage of his supreme athletic ability when it comes to running with the football. Now, whether or not he's still the best in the NFL. You and I would both say it's Justin Fields, right. but it's still pretty damn good exactly. at running with the football. Yep. But it would it would impact your offense. That's just another factor. Again, it's many factors that go into play here. But and 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 by the way, by the way, it'll be interesting to see what Calais Campbell has to say about Lamar Jackson and the Falcons now that Calais Campbell has agreed to terms reportedly to join Atlanta because we know Calais Campbell is a big Lamar Jackson proponent. He's played with him. Maybe he's got the persuasiveness to change some minds, to knock on some doors, to ask to meet with Mr. Blank and explain to Mr. Blank how Lamar Jackson could help the team. Not that that's enough to make a difference. It'll just be interesting to see whether and to what extent Calais Campbell chimes in on this plan. But obviously, Campbell heard something he liked or he wouldn't have signed with the Falcons. So the yeah. bottom line is a former Lamar Jackson teammate is now in Atlanta. I don't think it changes things after what we heard yesterday from Arthur Blank. No, I don't know if it does either. I don't. I think Atlanta is just continuing down the road of what we see them doing consistently. They're one of these teams that's just going to be 
they're all about size, big, physicality, going to beat your ass up front, and that's how they want to play football. And they've, you know, Calais Campbell adds to that. They can do, still got, I mean, still got some value. It's unbelievable, Calais Campbell, what he's doing. Hall of Fame defensive tackle, and he's got a little versatility because of the 3 4 and the 4 3 stuff he can do, Mike. So I understand them, them liking him. And, you know, this might be the last year, but he's still got a good year or two left in him for sure. Now, Lamar Jackson apparently heard, saw some of the things that were out there yeah. about him, the Arthur Blank comments. And, you know, I don't I don't think we have Odell Beckham Jr. on the rundown today. Odell Beckham Jr. just showed up at the league meetings. He did what we said Lamar Jackson should do. Just show up. Everybody's there. Just go. Just be there. Engage these people in face-to-face -face conversations. You're representing yourself. Agents are there. They're there with the power brokers as they're gathered. That would have been a great move by Lamar Jackson. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.